Hello, welcome back. This is James Herrera from Workshop. Uh, today we're going to look at the sign up interaction. That's the next thing on our inventory mobile app prototype, the sign up interaction. So what we're going to do is we will similar to that of the login um, page that we did the, you know, we did the, the validation error checking stuff. But what we're going to do here on the sign up is we I'll just open a notepad and we what we'll be checking, we'll be checking for, uh, we'll check for the following. We'll check for um, correct email format. So um, the user must enter their email address at you know um, at particular domain name dot com and um, the other one we will be checking we will be checking if all fields are completed and third we'll be checking if both password match so if both password match, then we will certify all these three conditions and then we can uh, let the user sign up. And once they sign up, they can automatically just go into the login page as well. Um, once all this is done, user can be directed to the home screen. So that's what we're just going to do. We're going to check for the following correct email format. All fields are completed. If both field, if both password is correct, if both password match, then user can be directed to their home screen. So what I'll just do because we've done it before with login, I'll just grab this as well and duplicate it because we've grouped it. Then as you can see, because I've selected it, the dynamic panel state as well is selected. So I'll just go to widget and manager. I'll make this up and we can just make this um, error message. So what I need to do is let's go back to what we have. I'll just say correct email format. I'll copy this. Um, I'll say error correct email format. The second error message we'll be checking is error all fields completed. So error all fields completed. And the third we'll be checking is uh, if both password match. So we will look at this one as well and say if both password match. So I'll just say um, We just remove this and say password match and all fields I'll just say all fields completed um, make this error and we say correct format I'll just say um, correct format as well which is here correct format and we have that so once we've done that let's just go into the dynamic state and just change things around so the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to um we need to just say the email address is in wrong format and um, the second one will be um The second one will be the email address in wrong format and the second one will be um, please complete all form fields and the third one will be the password does not match 
your password does not match so what we are showing here is the error message and we can go back to the landing page and in here we will just need to go to our sign up page and put the conditions here so the conditions will be we'll, we are adding one here so the first one we are checking is if email address is in wrong if the email address is in the is in the wrong format so we have three um we have three checking of the condition so we have here um first we have the email address um before we do that let's make sure that what we have here is email address so i'll just change it to email address email address txt password txt and repeat password txt okay so we will go back to our button at the condition and we will add here for our email address our password and our repeat password txt so what we want to do here is we're just going to type here without typing the um at gmail or at yahoo.com we're going to put the same password which is correct and uh, we're going to have it okay so six so we have it here okay and we will say show and we'll say bring to front so what we are showing here we are showing the error um email address wrong format and we're going to apply light box and we're going to say error message email format bring to front so that's what we've done we can test this by refreshing this page and um, if we go to you know um don't have an account and we can say here let's type so real and let's enter the real password and once we press here it says email address is the wrong format we're still going to move this to the center of the page for now we're just testing so that part is working so the other part we're going to look at is the if statement which is the second part for all fields need to be completed so we're just going to say um, email address password and repeat password if nothing is present in this field we're going to display an error message which is all password field must be completed so we'll just search for the error message because we have lots of error message there and say all password field need to be completed apply the light box same thing all error message the reason why we are showing this bring to front is because we want to be sure that this error message is going to be displayed at the front of all other widgets because we have so many so many widgets and it's a dynamic panel so if we don't apply that we are not going to be able to know whether the error message is displayed or not so we click ok Let's save that we can refresh this and uh, try and sign up with email and we can say please complete all fields the next thing we need to now do is the third condition which is if both password um does not match so we got gonna add another condition here and say password does not match so i'll say password txt and um, repeat password so if this password is one two three four five six and this password is one two three four five six seven eight nine then obviously they didn't match or something is wrong so we're just going to uh, say password does not match. actually we're not gonna let's try that and let's see what's gonna happen if we type in one two three four five six 
um no let's go to the login and we'll type in one two three four five six one two three four five six and the email address which is jamesaria at gmail.com before we do that let's go back to the condition again and just add the email address part of it to it so we say um, email address which is this and we can say jamesaria at gmail.com we save that and we can refresh this again go to sign up with email address enter our correct correct email address enter our password and enter our repeat password one two three four five six seven eight nine now if we say sign up it should show us um the password does not match so let's check why that is not coming through we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine and we have here jamesor at gmail.com and we have your email address we have your repeat password so we're just going to say okay yeah we're not displaying error message so we will say show and bring to front and we will say error message password do not match error message password do not match and add a light box for this part so we'll save this and we can say sign up with email address enter the correct email address we have enter the password enter the repeat password and we have your password would not match once we enter the real password which is this the user should be able to go to the um, home page so that is what we need to do next so the user enter this which is wrong and we need to make sure that we have this so we just say if else true again and add here email address add a password add a repeat password so we're just going to have it correct gmail.com we have one two three four five six and we have one two three four five six so this will certify that the user have um, signed up successfully but what we need to do we need to direct the page once that is successful to the login so the homes page rather so we will show here um no we're not going to show any error we're just going to show straight to open a link and we're just going to say home so once we've done that we we'll just need to check our conditions again and um, go to onboarding we have our don't have an account sign up with email if we try to sign up without filling any fields we get all fields need to be completed if we sign up only with these and we did not put the right format of the email we will get an error message that the format is not correct the email format is not correct and if we have the correct format the password is correct we will be directed to the home page and if we have the email address correct and um, we have the password do not match we will see here that the password will tell us password um, do not match we need to put the email correct for this one so we'll say password do not match so there are several ways we can add so many conditions to our prototype and it will always check whether this information is correct and that is the beauty of um, prototyping your application in Azure so what we've done now we've been able to prototype this session which is the 
um, this part we've done the part 7 of our tutorial um, sign up interaction and um, if you have any question regarding this um, tutorial how it's done um, drop me an email and I'll be glad to answer your question another thing again we need to consider when we are doing our prototype is that it will become so complicated and that is why I mentioned earlier that we need to name our um, widget properly we've done this now so what we need to do in the next tutorial is we will be focusing on retrieve password so when a user comes in and they want to log in and they've forgotten their password and they press on the forgot password um, button we'll be able to simulate a retrieve password process and that is what we'll be doing in our next tutorial I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have a question, drop it again. And if you are interested in this file, then I can send it to you as well on demand. Um, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in our next tutorial. Bye for now.